Hi, welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. Today, let's work on a little project. The idea is simple and the result is almost a bit like magic. Today, let's make a flipbook animation. You can use sheets of sketch paper or even simple printer paper. Make sure the paper is flexible and not too heavy. It has to be easy to flip and also, when making the drawings, we'll be partly tracing from one drawing to the next, so you need to see through at least just a little bit. Cut your paper into rectangle sheets. You'll need about at least 20, depending on how elaborate you want your little animation to be. Choose landscape format so it'll be easy to flip your pages later. Now that you have a stack of paper, you're ready to draw. Use a black pen. If you want, you can add color too later. Pick a simple subject. For example, you can draw a simple character and make it wave. Or you could draw the sky and make clouds float by. I'm drawing my lunch. Being eaten. I start with the very last frame of my animation. Lunch is gone, apart from just a few crumbs. The glass is empty. With a grey brush pen, I add a little drop shadow. I'll add the word lunch too, just for fun. Now I will put the next sheet on top and trace my previous drawing. But I adjust a tiny little bit. If I add a little shape with each sheet that I fill, in the end I will get to the first frame where the plate will be filled with salad and fried eggs and the glass will be full. It's a lot of work, but it's fun too. Once you've drawn many, many pictures that change just a tiny little bit with each drawing, you have built yourself an animation. Flip through the book and you see your drawings come to life. If you want and still have a bit of patience left, you can add some color. Flip and watch your little video over and over again. So fun! I hope this inspires you to get creative. And for more creative ideas, make sure that you don't miss out on my weekly Draw Tip Tuesday videos. So subscribe to this channel and then I'll see you next week. Bye!